Hello there everyone, this is Seb and I'm welcome you back to Let's Play DuckTales. This time we're going to play in the snow in the Himalayas, so let's go and get our hiking gear on with this uh, really fun theme. Um, the Himalayas has one annoying feature and that's snow. Now snow might not be, be that bad and you know, it, it's fun to sled in and such, but have you ever tried pogoing in snow? This is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> your head goes flying <laughs> and gets frozen in the air so yeah you cannot pogo as uh, easily in here so that makes things a bit more difficult but uh, it's, it's a fun mechanic you know it, it makes it wow the bunny is going nuts Ooh, money and these goats are awful yeah they're terrible 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 Evil goats. But goats are always evil, of course. Did I pick that up? I don't think so. Oh, damn it! Getting mold here. Oh, I, I, I could have used some ice cream, you know. Ice cream? No, of course not. Oh well. Yay, ice cream! We'll see what uh, what happens. There's some treasures here. I do like this level though. It's uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I think over here. Yay! One up. And there's uh, turbo or launch pad. I keep saying turbo. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just <laughs> used to the Dutch version, so I tend to automatically uh, go for the Dutch names because it makes more sense, you know. But uh, yeah, um, Launchpad is one of my favorite characters from the show because he's just so goofy and fun and still confident. That's what I like about him. Bubba! No one likes Bubba. Bubba's an idiot. Stupid auxiliary character that's no purpose to the show at all. Oh well. <laughs> Let's save him because he does have a good goodie for us to, uh, to get. There he is. I say we should leave him in the ice, but oh well. Yeah, at least pogoed him on the head. Well, jumped, I guess. Right, let's go be already. Give me the secret treasure. It's another life up. Sweet. So now we have five units of health. As I said, if you want a slightly easier time, then go for Transylvania and the Himalayas first. Or just play on easy, that means you get double the life. Every uh, unit of health takes two hits to go away. Uh, medium. <sighs> I hate these spiders so much. But yeah, the... Uh, nah, don't need that. On medium, you get the same amount of um, life as on hard. But uh, you'll find more cake and ice cream in treasure tre tre chests. And a bit more treasure too, I think. Like the, the tre chest contents. I can't talk today. The chest contents are a bit different uh, on, on medium from hard. I'll take that money. I'm screwed, so I'm gonna take every gem I can find. There's another secret area up here, worth exploring. Uh, you might think this is a dead end, but keep up press and you go for some extra treasure room. And a free guy. Not that you can uh, get more than nine, but oh well. It's a little thing that's uh, not too obvious if you keep pressing to an object and jump and then press B uh, Scrooge can actually do his golf swing in midair it's not too obvious you don't need it anywhere in the game so it's not really uh, indicated that you can even do that but uh, yeah that's how you get to these treasures in DuckTales 2 you will need to do this but whoops, uh, not so much here but you know, it's a cool secret to find, and it, it, it it's fun to uh, have players... Whoa. Oh, you bastard. It's fun to have players experiment with the uh, moves available to them. Whoa! Hi, spider. I think the way the spiders work is that as you approach them, they will go down. And then they will stay up for a while. 
But they are very finicky, I find, and... Uh, yeah. Not a lot of fun to deal with. Ooh yee! Indiana Jones action. <laughs> Although Indiana Jones never did it on the rope, I guess. Kind of fitting, I mean... Uh, the logo for DuckTales was inspired by the Indiana Jones uh, logo, I think. Money. We like some money. Hey, buddy, get over here. Huh, how to miss him? Whatever. My plan's foiled. <laughs> uh, another thing that's different on the lower difficulty settings is actually um, some boxes will have a special treasure inside, like the lucky cone coin from uh, Uncle Scrooge, and it'll make you invin invincible for a bit. It's, it's a bit like a star man, I guess. Anyway, this guy is much like the first boss we faced. This is the abominable uh, snowman, I guess, or maybe a yeti, I don't know. Uh, the only difference is he jumps, he doesn't uh, move otherwise, and he makes a couple of snowballs appear, and you get to dodge him, and it's still really easy because they move so freaking slow, and I got hit anyway. Because that's what I do, contradict myself, but uh, yeah, he shouldn't give you much trouble and give you his crown instead. Sweet! Another one million dollars! And I guess the life counting doesn't go uh, past nine. Oh well. I can lower it, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's see how much money we made. Uh, should be doable to do this in one uh, one trip to the moon. <laughs> because yeah, the moon is a land too, apparently. And we're gonna get some uh, moldy gouda over there, I guess. Anyway, uh, that's for next time, in which we will... Uh, Go to the moon and get our treasure there, and I hope to see you guys then. So until then, guys, take care, and bye-bye for now.